Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig, and thanks to you, I was able to keep the Earl from Tacovas. Yes, that review video that I did last week was one of my most popular and most successful. It has gotten over 5,000 views in less than five days. So, Tacovas and I were talking, and they said that I could keep this boot. Thank you so much for your support because without those views, this video would not be possible at all. Now, if you remember from the last video, I was curious to see how the Tacovas would shine up. So that's what we're gonna do today. If you wanna follow along, we have all of the stuff set up for you to shine and take care of your Tacovas as well. Let's get into it. So I'm super excited today to get into shining this Tacovas boot. Now, this is a capskin boot. So if you have a Tacovas boot, this method that I'm using right now will only be for the calfskin boots. For the men's boots, that would be the Earl and the Cartwright. For the women's boots, that would be the Penny, the Jamie, and the, oh, it's the H, it's the H1. Oh man, now I gotta look, one second. The Harper, the Pennies, the Jamies, and the Harper. That is the calfskin boots on the female side and on the men's side use this technique only for the Earl and the Cartwrights. Because this neutral polish or shoe polish in general just doesn't go well with the exotic brands and the exotic leathers. So this is what we're gonna do first. We're gonna brush off the boot, then we're gonna condition the boot, and then we're going to apply the polish and buff it out to see how it shines. I'm gonna leave this one separate so we can look at the difference between the two and also the difference between right out of the box because I did wear these oh, like once or twice since that video just because they're super comfortable, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so first step is to take a brush and just brush off any dust or any junk that could be on the boot itself because we don't want to rub in any dust or dirt into the leather. Uh, it just isn't going to end up making for a, a good time for the leather. We wanna make sure the leather is as good as possible. So just sort of brushing that off there real quick. And I'm just gonna wipe it off too, just to make sure. All right, now I'm going to apply leather conditioner. Now it's a good idea to apply leather conditioner like once a week on new boots. So just going to put some, I'm gonna get a different rag, this one's super thin. All right, there we go. Here's a nice rag. All right, so I'm gonna use this rag right here. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna put some on the rag first. A lot of times when I condition boots, I'll just glop on a whole thing on the vamp but because this is the first time I'm doing this, I'm going to just put some on the rag itself and apply it to the heel or the counter. I believe this is called the counter. So we're just going to apply it back here and make sure that it doesn't change the color of the boot itself. And a lot of times I won't condition the shaft of the boot, but in this case, since it's the first time I'm conditioning the boot. I will. Uh, I, I usually don't condition the shaft every time I condition my boots. Uh, maybe every three or four times. Like, it's not a huge deal to me since it doesn't see a lot of weather. Although if you are wearing boots on the outside of your pants often, then you might want to condition the, the shafts more often. <clears throat> and it looks like it's okay, it's, it's, it hasn't changed the color, so everything looks good. So we will apply the conditioner to the rest of the boot. I almost had a, a brain fart there for a second. Like, what is this thing called? It's been a long day, guys. It's Monday. 
<laughs> at least when I'm recording this. I'll, re I'll release it tomorrow. Videos every Tuesday, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> if you wanted to use this conditioner on your exotic Tacovas, you can do that, but stop at that step. So after you condition, you don't go on to the wax polish, just stop. This is good for any exotic, uh, but you can't use it on suede, rough out, distressed, napped, or any pre-treated leathers. So don't use it for the Johnnies on the men's side, and I don't remember what the women's suede boot name is right now off the top of my head, but don't use this method at all on suede boots. All right, cool. It's looking good. We have the conditioner in there, and you'll see it shine a little bit more from the conditioner, but the wax polish is what is going to shine it the most. So if you were wanted to, you could sort of buff out the conditioner a little bit to make it shine. Uh, and, that'll, and that'll have a nice little foundation for the wax to take hold and shine as well. So I think I'm just gonna buff this out real quick and, uh, and see if we can make this boot really, really shiny. It's just a touch more shiny. I don't know if you can tell uh, from the camera. It's just a touch more shiny from the boot right now with the conditioner. It's probably not even noticeable to the camera. It's just a little bit more shiny. <clears throat> All right, now that we have that, let's put on the shoe wax. Now this is peak neutral shoe polish, wax polish. And I got this at Walmart. You could probably get it on Amazon. I don't think it's the best shine ever. Uh, so we're gonna do our best today to see how shiny it can get with just a regular run-of-the-mill polish. Peak, natural polish for this tan boot. Like I said in the previous video, we don't want to use a brown shoe polish because of this gradient of the toe. As you can see, it goes from tan to a dark brown right here on the toe. And if you use brown shoe polish, you may end up changing the color of this boot and how this toe looks. And we don't want that because this color is really pretty. All right, so now let's apply the wax and just take a new clean rag to do that. You'll need about three or four rags uh, because you don't want to start switching things up and applying the same thing twice or mixing rags and what was on them previously. So just start off with like three or four clean rags, take a new rag, dip it in the shoe polish, get a little bit on there, and then start applying it to the boot in a circular motion. And as you apply it, you will see it wax up a little bit. Uh, here, since this is a new boot, you may also see some of the, the color of the boot come off, which may show up here, we'll see. And as you put this on, you will see it darken the leather a little bit, if you can see that, but it will dry. Um, it's not that big of a deal, it will dry. It doesn't, it doesn't darken the leather forever. It's just upon the application of the wax in this case. I am super curious to see how this turns out. I am very interested, because <laughs> my boulets shine up real nice. Like these will shine up spectacular. And I'm really curious about the Tacovas. That's the great thing about cowboy boots is they can shine up after you work in them. After you get them dirty, they always clean up so nice. All right, now I'm gonna just uh, put a little polish on the heel. And it looks nice when you do it uh, 
for about a day, right? I mean, the heel and the outsole is gonna get the most wear and tear. So really, shining, <laughs> shining your uh, outsole and the heel here is like putting tire shine on your car, right? It looks slick, but only for like a day or two. <laughs> I think I wanna put a little bit more on the toe here and on the vamp, just to make sure I have enough to shine up because that toe, one, a shiny toe looks great. <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited to see how this shines. Okay, so we'll let that dry for one second. Next up, we'll need the brush. You want a different brush for every polish kit that you have. You'll want a black brush, a brown polish brush, and a brush for neutral polish here. Uh, never ever mix, never ever mix. <clears throat> All right, so now that the wax is applied and you, you, you can even feel how waxy it is, but just by touching and running your fingers across the leather here, just take the brush and start brushing it back and forth. Now you'll be able to see, start seeing it shine here as you brush it but this is only a step in the process of shining. This is not the last step. All right, let's get at it here. So take another clean rag, and then we just start buffing it here. And this is the point where it starts to get really, really shiny. I learned how to do this in Cleveland while I was on tour in 2009 with my college band. For those of you who don't know, on this channel I also share a lot of my music because I'm a singer-songwriter, a folk singer-songwriter and balladeer. Our saxophone player's name was Daryl Brown and he was from Cleveland, so we were spending a lot of time at his father's house. And his father was named Daryl Brown Sr. And he showed me how to shine my boots like he shined his shoes. And he gave me my first polish kit for my brown boulets. He said, this is the step where everything gets super shiny. And the longer you want to buff a boot or a shoe, the more shiny it will get. So I'm, I'm beginning to see them shine here but I'd like to see a little bit more. And I, I will continue buffing. It may be the polish itself. It might not be the best polish in the world. This is the first time that I've used that brand, but it still looks real good. Don't get me wrong. I just wanted to see how shiny these can get. And we might have to do another application of this shoe polish and see if that helps too. So I'll just buff this for a little bit and uh, we'll see what happens here. All right, you know, it's not, it's getting, it's pretty shiny here, but I want to see if it can get more shiny. I don't know if you could tell here. It's, uh, let's see here. So you can see it's a little bit more shiny than the other boot, but I want to see if we can make it even shinier. This is the one we just shined up. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put another application of the wax on to see if that makes a difference in making it shinier. Oh, and here is a good example of the tan stain that's coming off of the boot as we put the natural wax on it. You can see it here in the corners. And that's why it's important, just in case, you apply it to the outsole here first and then apply it to the boot you might get some bleed there because it is a new boot. So make sure you put the treatment, the wax, whatever on the top first and then hit the outsole last. 
we're gonna put another coat of wax on it and see how this shines up again. So we're gonna go through that whole process again, put the wax on, use the brush, then buff it out. When I apply the wax, I am just going across the boot in rows, just so I don't miss anything. So I'll start at the toe and then work my way back up across the vamp. Sort of like you're mowing a lawn. It's the best way to do it without missing any spots. Now you obviously don't have to do this twice. If you don't want it that shiny, I'm just doing it because I want to see how shiny this boot can get. And like I said, it could be the polish too. So now I'm gonna go back to the buff stage and let's see how this shines up after the second coat of wax. This, this shirt is, giving a, is leaving a lot of lint on this. I think I'm gonna gra grab another shirt really quick, another rag. All right, so I got this dress sock because it's very light and thin and it feels like a polyester sort of fabric. Uh, so we're gonna try that. And I also got these cotton swab rounds. Um, and we'll see how this works too. I really wanna see how shiny I can get this. I usually don't have this problem with that, but um, today it seems like it's leaving a lot of lint. Ooh, there we go. Wow. Okay, I'm starting to see it come through now. I'm starting to see the shine come through. That's what I wanted to see. It's starting to come through here. Don't know if you can tell. Shine, shine, shine. How does the boot shine? Hey, you guys wanna know something cool? So, the other day, my family friend Sarah calls me to tell me a backstory on a old saying. And we like trading names of old sayings. I've written songs about old sayings, uh, stories. Busy My Spade is the one that I like the best that comes from old gravedigger sayings like Saved by the Bell. So she calls me up and she says, hey, JC, there's this saying that I heard about the other day that I think you might want to write a song about. And of course, I'm all ears because I love historic stuff like that. So she says, do you know where a shot comes from? And I'm talking about taking a shot of whiskey, a shot of bourbon, or a shot of gin, something like that, you know? And I said, I have no idea where that comes from. And she says, it comes from the old cowboys when they came off the range and maybe they didn't have any money, they would be able to trade one bullet, one whole cartridge of a 45 caliber bullet for a shot of whiskey, straight up. You just trade the 45 caliber bullet for a shot of whiskey. That's why you called that much, that ounce of liquor a shot. That's why. Isn't that really cool? I think I might have to write a song about it because, or write a song around that idea. It's a very interesting backstory. Watch out for that, by the way. Might be dropping it on a coffee and music sometime in the future. But one of you guys in the comments told me about using cotton swabs and just sort of breathing on the boot to add in a little bit of moisture. Uh, I don't remember who it was right now off the top of my head, but I remembered it just now, and I don't wanna go look and, 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 and make this video last longer, so I'm just gonna put the username right here. Thank you so much for telling me that you do that because I wanna try today to see how shiny I can make these Tacovas. So, I had to take a quick break from doing this because my camera ran out of battery. But while it was charging, 
I, uh, I polished it a little bit more and I think I pretty much got it to the point where it is as shiny as possible with this. And I wanted to try the cotton swab technique as well. So here is the boot thus far. It is very shiny, much more shiny than what it was previously when I opened the box. I'm really happy with it. And when it does shine up, you don't feel so much of a waxiness anymore. It's just sort of smooth and slippery. So that's how you know when you're, you're getting there. So from what I've heard from you folks is cotton swab works really nice, especially if you add a little bit of moisture to it, what you call a spit shine, which can also be done by breathing on the boot. Okay, I can see a little bit of a difference. I don't think it would show up on the, on the camera because it is already pretty shiny. But as I did that, I noticed the moisture being pushed around by the cotton swab. That's, that's really cool. This does, oh, this is super shiny, guys. Wow, this can shine up nice. This cotton swab trick really works. Thank you so much. So what I'm doing with the cotton swab is I'm, I just have it on here with three fingers right now, and I'm just going about it in a circular motion, and then when I feel like it's about as shiny as possible, I just breathe on it again. So that the fog from my breath hits that wax and then the moisture shines it up a little bit more. And it's just, it's just looking so good right now. I'm very impressed. It's been a, it's been a long time uh, doing this, trying to figure out how this boot can keep a shine, but wow. Once you get it, it looks great. Whoo-wee! That's what I'm talking about right there. Yes! They look beautiful. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, let's take a look at these close up so you can see the difference and then I'm going to turn the camera off and do the other one and take some similar shots to the shots that I took in the review for this Tacova, uh, the Earl, that I did last week so that we can see the difference up close. So, let me do that now. Just look at... <laughs> That's nuts. Much duller on this side. Crazy. So I'm super pleased with how the Tacovas shined up. I love the look and I can't wait to rock it out on the town. Um, you know, just having a good boot that cleans up nice makes you feel really good because you know it can handle some rough crap, but then when you shine it up and clean it up at the end of the day, it can just go anywhere. So a very versatile boot here. It looks great. It can handle a bunch. I am a fan of this boot and how it looks shined up. I'm not so much a fan of this peak uh, shoe polish. I've never used this brand before, but it felt like I needed to use way more than I should have to get the desired effect. I will probably go back to using Kiwi after this, but I also want to know what your guys' favorite wax or shoe polish is uh, so I can try that out as well. 
I'd like to try out some new ones since this one's almost gone already because I had to use so much to get the desired shine out of it. Uh, I'm going to be needing some new neutral wax or polish, so anything that you guys can recommend, definitely leave that down in the comments. All right, so I wanted to end this video with a featured picture from my Facebook cowboy boot group. And if you're not a part of that, you should definitely go join. I'll leave the link in the description. But I wanted to share these amazing boots from Mitch Buckner. They are alligator boots, and look at the blue vamp on them. They look amazing. Mitch Buckner says that these were made by Rodney Ammons, and if you like these, I think he has a Etsy page where you can get boots like this. And this is the kind of thing that we share on the Cowboy Boot Group, and we also share a whole bunch of different kinds of tips and hints and we share our problems with cowboy boots and then uh, people jump in and we all uh, fix those problems together. So it's a great thing and I wanted to feature this boot because it is so beautiful. I wish it was in my size, but it's not. So uh, just a beautiful boot, this alligator boot uh, posted by Mitch Buckner. Thanks Mitch for posting that. And if you guys head over there and post pictures of your boots. Maybe I'll feature them on a future video. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and let me know what you think of these shined Tacovas in the comments. Thanks for watching. Peace. They shine up nice at the end of the day so you can go out on the town from the fields to the dance floor, cowboy boots can always handle a little more. Hey. See you next time, everybody. Thanks for watching. Peace.